What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am coming to you from possibly Canada, possibly the US. I don't really know where the divisive line is on this lake, but I am on Grand Lake of the East. East Grand Lake in down East Maine, I call it. Nearest town, I think it's Danboa. Staying at the famous Calgers Cottages, Resorts, Camps, I guess it's called with my good buddy, Sean. Might have a couple special guests coming to stay with us. Definitely gonna have a couple of special guests coming out to stay in this little tiny ice shack over here as you see it. That is Brandon and the boys ice shack. They'll be out later this week once their wives give them permission to leave home. But we are here on East Graham, my first time ever. One of the greatest ice fishing lakes in the state of Maine. I don't know how I've always avoided it, but I've avoided it. This lake's really well known for big toad. You know, in Maine, we have a lot of toad, but we don't have a lot of great big, great toad fisheries. And this is known as one of those. The other thing it has is big cusk, and it does have salmon, it does have whitefish, it does have smallmouth bass. I'm gonna have a really hard time deciding what I wanna fish for each day. If I wanna go for big togue or if I wanna go for cusk. I think what I'm gonna do is put down, we're allowed five lines per person here in Maine. I don't know about Canada. We're going by Maine laws for this trip. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep one line just for jigging. I'm gonna take two lines for lake trout, AKA togue. And then I'm gonna keep the other two lines for cusk aka burbot because <laughs> i heard there's some mega cusk or excellent cusk fishing in here too so sean and i are gonna set up kind of similar i think he's leaning a little harder towards the lake trout he's had some really good success in years past here for lake trout and we're gonna see if we can get like a double digit lake trout on the ice how cool would that be and it would be even cooler i think if we got a double digit cusk on the ice but we need to do a cusk feed this week with some cusk nuggets so we'll be we will be harvesting any cusk over probably three pounds range and we'll probably be releasing most of the lake trout so stick along guys i think it's gonna be a great day here on east grand start you have to start i got i got viewers that have never seen an auger that you got to pull on the cord oh Oh. I see the problem with it. It's got a, like a bottle connected to it. Dude. Yeah, I didn't see one of them in years. <laughs> nice. Now he's cutting with gas. All right, we're gonna go cut with electric. <laughs> What's that one? Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't see one of them on the Oh Jesus! don't have gas ones either. No, ain't seen one of them in years. Really? Yeah, you got emissions for that thing? Yep. Yeah, you got you got a permit to run that thing? <laughs> Real fish. 
guys what the future looks like that's a little better <laughs> <laughs> just went up my trap sideways that ain't good and then my flag sat back down I'll show up looking like happy game one. that's bad <laughs> can't be cooking yeah, it's cooking it's not a big one no no huh it broke it oh kick it off oh yeah we got something here fellas broke my band now I don't even know if he's still on there She was flying when I got off the snowmobile. For real? Yeah. All right, there's some weight there. Found him? I don't even know if I got a hook in there. I'll probably need to wind back eventually. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, there's, this a, lot of, there's a lot of line out there. You didn't have much on you. This is the first one I've ever had the band bait on it. Big head shakes. Feeling kind of tusky. Oh, there we got some weight right there. Found him? Yep. He might be burned in. Pretty sure he's burned in. You want to just grab that shovel or a scooper or something? Wow. You need it pushed on? Wow. Yeah, eventually. Wow. We got something here, fellas. Hopefully that battery stays going. That's a head shake and a half. I can't do much here. Stop fighting like a dog, though. It's weird. It's making a mess. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need that. All right, I right, just hit bottom marker. I don't need it now, sir. All right, we hit bottom. We got his head up. He's got huge head shakes. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! 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 Probably like three, four pounds. What do you got? Three, probably three, four pounder with the head shakes like that. Toad? Yeah. The thing was screaming at mine. I think it's pretty decent, actually. We're at a leader. Not really fighting yet. Yeah, he's probably good enough over there. We're at weight. Take a look at them. Big toe. Nice toe. Big toe. Nice toe. That's over. Nice. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> How's that, boys and girls? Look at that giant. Woo! Yes, sir. That is a toe right there. That is an East Grand special right there. Got him on a big old sucker. Not a bad way to start the morning. He got that pretty deep. What do you think of that one, fellas? Oh, yeah, beautiful. Nice. I need a picture of him. Yeah. Should I give him that Shoot, hook? I'm you gonna take a picture. Oh, the hook's right there. If anybody's got anything. Oh, you got any pies? Uh, no, uh, back in the, back in the shack. Mine's in my jacket. Oh, I guess my jacket's back. <laughs> I ran my jacket over. How do you want me to grab the toy? If anybody's got something, uh, I mean, I don't care about the hook, but it's right there. Right. Barely even in there. What a friggin' fish. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. That's what we're after. Yeah. yeah. You didn't... That, that, that makes the whole trip worth it. <laughs> it does for me. That reel was cooking. He broke the band, so he should be over eight because those bands are eight pound test. Yeah, it was good to Do you see that? that yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, 11 pounds. 
All right, guys. That's my biggest lake trout ever in Maine. It's gotta be. Geez, I didn't realize how big he is this way. That's oh, a nice yeah. fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. When I saw that head hit that hole, I was like, that's Yeah, you go big, Lake. Yeah, 32 and a, just about a quarter. 32 and a quarter, and he's 11 pounds. <laughs> All right, we're going to free this fighter guy so he gets bigger for the next guy, and we're going to recycle that smile because I got one heck of a smile out of it for him. So there he goes. We're going to let him go. Oh yeah, he's fine. See you later, big gator. All right. All right. Yeah. Good way to start, huh, fellas? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. East Grand. Yeah. East Grand, first time here, first flag ever on East Grand. There it is. I watched that flag go up. I'll tell the guys at home. So I watched that flag go up and I I had that sucker banded. I was using a big sucker. Uh, I don't know, it's right here. That's probably awesome. Probably like a six plus inch sucker. And the flag went up and and i had a band on it probably like i gave him like 40 feet and he ripped the trap sideways must have broke that band and sean got here or sean looked at it first and said it was just making power and it gave me a wicked nice fight you just play those nice and smooth you don't have to do anything crazy and big head shakes and he didn't even know he was hooked it's pulled about half of that four inch reel out yeah pretty quick <laughs> Was it a smell? Yep. Yeah. We got some activity now. Oh, he's got a fish? You got a fish? Yeah, what's going on? Jeez, this is not each gram. What's going on here? I think he backlashed it. it oh, really? Around. Yeah, I wonder if I lost it. No, he's there. He's there. He's there. Is he off? Nice! Keeper? On the top? <laughs> On a friggin' salmon trap? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I didn't see it back last, but maybe. Oh, you got one of them? What? Those real plates we had done? Yeah. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about those. That's what I was talking about, the whole thing. I forgot about that. Because you were just doing the... Yeah, we always did Make sure you guys call Jack Traps if you want one of these special traps. No, you can't even put this guy's trap on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sets. I have a pink set too. Man, we missed him. Oh, Matt, I want to get you on the channel, but I can't put you on if you're missing fish. Guys, I just I just walked Matt through catching one from 45 feet away on the live scope. Sean's getting his live scope set up. Didn't have it set up yet. Just turning it on. Jeez, um... And whose rod is on this? On my jig. <laughs> my jig. He was just coming back. <laughs> All right, Matt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Salmon. Salmon. Wow, nice wow. salmon, dude. Oh. Wow, this nice so salmon. Cool. Holy cow. Wow. What's he doing? Yeah, he came what flying he in. Down there? He was at like 70 foot and came straight to your jig. Wow, how's that make you feel, bud? <laughs> hey, I set him up. Yep, you did. You're a hell of a guide. Picked the right colors. <laughs> you, you got the right colors. Wow, nice salmon, Matt. Jeez, yeah. On a jig rod. There you don't see some. that very often. He's over 20. Kind of thin, but over 20. He's a little thin. Yep. Well, we can have poached salmon now. Yeah, I'd like to try that. Literally poached salmon. That was too big. Is it? <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. yeah, put it back. Yeah. Wicked. That's awesome. Should be able to get that now. When we talk about poached salmon, guys, we're not talking about um, <laughs> poaching them from the <laughs> law book. They actually cook it. They one of their buddies taught them how to cook a poached salmon that they said is absolutely delicious. So we might do that today, like a catch and cook. Yeah, let's look at that baby. He's got a lot of gold on him, huh? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Good fish. Is that your best salmon jigging? It is my best salmon jigging. You never jigging. catch him jigging. No, not at all. Jeez. Have you ever caught one jigging? I've only no, caught one. Like, I've never caught a salmon jigging. jigging. Have you ever caught a fish jigging? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Good one, buddy. Now I got everybody coming. Whoa, I hope 
that's a dump. That's heavy. Whatever it is, it's got some little bit of weight. It looks like it's got weight. Five pounds better. I think this is like tough set. I can't remember. It like a tough There's a head shake. There's a head shake. There's a head shake. Coming up like a dust. The bass. No, it's a cast. <laughs> nice cast. Oh, nice cast. Look at the size of that cast nugget, huh? See, that was like average. Really? Like Ten years ago. That's a good one. Yeah, steel leader. <laughs> he tweets out here that trap. Steel leader with a cast. He goes. Why do you think I got this on? I said, because you're too lazy to change it since we went bike fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to cook poached salmon. Literally poached it right off Ryan's fishing rod. <laughs> so you just cut the tail off. You can cut these fins off. If you already gave me a sharp knife, that would have That thing is sharp, trust me. Cut it in half. Throw it in boiling water. Really? All right, this is the first time for me. I've never poached a fish. I always catch mine legally. Six to ten minutes. And we flip the cover upside down and put butter in it. And you have it just like lobster. That'll work. Yeah. Bikes in here, fellas. Oh wow, smells pretty good in here. Yeah. Gotta have the right ladle. <laughs> Quick is. Oh yeah. That's done. I'm putting that too down. Look it. What do you think of that, Matt? I think it looks like. Delicious salmon. Right, we're gonna put the butter back on. Keep that. Eating it outside or inside? Actually, you probably just do it right here. Yeah. Do it right in the light. Our part. Yeah. Oh. Moment of truth if we overcooked it. <laughs> I got a feeling it's hot. Looks done. Yeah. See, it just slides right off the bone. Mm.
That's the best part, the tail. Yeah. It probably is better a little un undercooked anyways, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think the difference is that it comes off the bone better. Yeah. That's cooked more. You probably just grab the bone. Yeah, see it's sticking. Background music. <laughs> Background music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks decent. Yep, there it is. Right into the plate she goes. Wow, that looks good. Take a piece. Dip it in the butter. Crushed man salmon. Pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Let's try it. Oh well. Wow. Just dip it right in that butter, huh? Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting around. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Wow. I tell you, you eat salmon. It's fantastic. That's way better. That is definitely how you eat salmon. Poached salmon. Poached more than one way. Dip it in the butter. And then dip it right in your gullet. Wow, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Can you get another one? We need to. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that's good. Mm -hmm. He just takes it and actually dumps it right in it. Yeah, why not? You just pick it out of it. You know? Do it. That's what Burn does? Yep. Yeah, he stirs it around. Soaks it in. And then it's chow. That's serious. That's the best way to eat salmon. It is. I would have never thought of it. So brook trout, togue, whitefish and all that, they just go to mush. Salmon's the only... Oh, really? The only fish so far we found that stays firm. Wow. Yep. I don't really eat a lot of salmon, but I'd eat that. Beeping. Oh, no, that means it's recording. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't that good, huh? Oh, oh you usually don't eat salmon? No. Isn't that good? Yeah. It's not like salmon. No, it's no fishy. No, I mean, it's freaking good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you hit the band? Yeah. Didn't hit it very hard. Yeah. Oh, they feel so big at 90 foot deep. It's like when you're out ocean fishing, jigging in 200, 300 feet. Five pound fish is like 15. At 90 feet, he feels pretty big. Feels the same as the last one. He just got a little bigger. I might have to come over here with the. Yeah, jig some stuff right here. Yeah. Big wonks. Whoa. He's probably now he feels three pounds. Now he feels three. Oh, he just twitched. He felt a little bigger. I think all those head shakes. Oh, there he is. He's a log. Another good. Yeah. Here. Wonk. But donk. I jig these all day. They're lively as ever. <laughs> Holy, oh my god, feel that, dude. <laughs> He's pooping. He's pooping them right out. All right, guys, another good cast. That's probably four and a half, five pounder. Got him from oh, a little over 90 foot deep. 
but he is right packed full of the alewives. There you go. That'll be some cussed nuggets. Something good. You got something good on. Four or five pounds smallmouth. I don't know. We're into some cusk over here. Came flying in. It might be a leaker or big smolly. He's not hung up in my line, right? I probably should have reeled better. Really is up. Crank it. Oh. Gonna... All right, what are you into here? First fish of the day. Oh, Laker! Oh, no. got your... yeah. Woo. All right, little That's guy. An eater right there. Yeah, good eater. <clears throat> yep, he came flying. Yes, in. he did. Is that another one there? On my lure? Oh, yeah, there's one on my lure. There Look. is. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh man. Yeah, hold that. Yeah, I get you. I'll hand catch him. got a cusk on here, fellas. Two pounds. Three pounds. Growing? Two and a half pounds. It's shrinking. One pound. One pound. <laughs> yeah. Three pounds. Yaddy. Beauty. Another nice cast. Got him. All right, we've moved inside. It's gotten pretty rotten outside. We're in about 89 foot of water and jigging on the live scope with the XD62 transducer, the super deep transducer from Garmin. And I just got our first burb bite. The burbs are finally starting to move in as it's getting dark. So it doesn't feel giant, but it doesn't feel too small either. Ooh. Sean's getting a nibble. Ah, sh oh, shoot. Missed it. All right, I got this guy within 20. He's fighting now. Well, well, might be bigger than I thought. I don't know how you land a big one through these holes, but we're going to find out. Yank him. Yank him. Boat flip him. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. How's your luck? Uh, a little bit smaller than those biggest ones today, but not. Oh, oh. You got a bite? Come on. Nice burp. All right. Oh yeah. Sean's hooked up, guys. We got a double. We got him. We got a double. Double burb. All right. I'm gonna point you guys to Sean. I'll show you my burb right there. He just slapped me in the face. Nice three and a half pounder, probably. Not very big. By the feels of it now. Going up fast. There's Sean. He doesn't look huge on the camera. Not happy about it. Feels pretty small. So, yeah, he looks small on camera. I mean, on the. You know. Not bad. Oh yeah, nice, nice burb. There we go. All right, buddy. Doubled up. Doubled up like twins. That's cool. So yeah, so cusk feed at night better than during the day, but some bodies of water they will feed during the day. So I was fortunate enough to put three topside during the day today on a trap that I'd set for cusk. And now we're in here jigging and 
I finally caught a fish. Sean got his first <laughs> fish of the day. He gets to make an appearance on today's video. Nice. Twins. Twinning. We're getting there. So I think I'm going to throw mine back. Just because I have some that I haven't cut up yet. And I got enough meat for a bunch of people. I don't need them. Yeah. Let's put them back. Let's give them the release. Not to the grease. Uh, doesn't seem like that many years ago. There that big maple there and this big maple and the one over there were here when I was a kid. Oh, well, there it is. And there used to be two more up here and one more down here. Used to be like six trees here. And uh, they're gone. But these are rock maple here. Sugar maples. And I don't know if it's warm enough for the sap to be running. Yaddy. Little guy. What do you think it is? I think it's a small rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah. They fight pretty hard right about there. <laughs> Man, he's fat. Look at how short and fat he is. He's round. pretty good. Something pretty good. Might be a decent bourbon. Stand the night on. Nice big burb right there, guys. I don't know if you can see it. I'm pretty sure you can. Fatty. They are getting big. All right. What do you think of dinner so far? I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, we're in from the lake at an awesome day fishing. Got my biggest lake trout I've ever caught in Maine, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And some really nice cask, and had a great day with the guys. And and uh, it's dinner time now, it's late. We stayed out a little bit later, trying to get that cask fight going, but it was fun. But look, I've been slaving on this, slaving over this thing for a long time. Brisket. Look at this brisket. Brisket smoking all day long. Yeah. We're pretty excited to mow on that thing. We got some mashed potatoes, I hand mashed. And then some green beans I hand grew, so it's all a handy meal, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this brisket. Look at that. Look at that thing. I got a feeling we'll be eating some brisket sandwich because I don't think we can eat all that tonight. And we're pounding, this is what we're pounding yoo hoo in a can. <laughs> Dig right in, Bob. 
give, let the folks at home know how it tastes. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope it's warm. Probably. It looks warm. It's good. It's good, huh? It's not the most tender, but it's good enough. It tastes freaking awesome. For what it is. It's a little cold. Over yeah, there. that's not cold. I got oh, half, is it? half cold, half hot. Oh, get some out of the, the water. That's, yeah, if you want more. It's got a good taste to it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a good flavor. So I'm super stoked my buddy Matt's here. Matt hit me up like two days ago and was like, hey, what are you doing the next blah, blah, blah days? And I was like, ah, I can't do anything. I'm already going fishing. He's like, yeah, I am too. I was like, where are you going? He goes, East Grand. I go, I am too. I said, where are you staying? He goes, Calgary's. I said, I am too. So we're staying next to him. And he's got his crew and, and I got my crew. My crew's a little bit smaller. <laughs> but it's about to get bigger. So awesome day of fishing, awesome meal, awesome time with friends. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. What are we going for tomorrow, fellas? Same. Big, same recipe. Same stuff, different day. Yep. Same stuff, different day, and different, different hero tomorrow. <laughs>